Building in the Mission District is closer to becoming a historic landmark. The site of the Casa Sanchez business, known for its salsa, chips, and tortilla, will be a first for a Latino business. And KPIX 5's Sean Chitness on how this landmark designation could help the community. An iconic name and logo still remain on this building along 24th Street. While Casa Sanchez no longer operates out of this location, its legacy remains. My mom would send me here to buy tortillas, freshly made uh, tortilla chips and the fresh, delicious salsa. The company left to expand and thrive as a local business. Others have not always had the same fate. The Mission District has been ground zero for gentrification here in San Francisco. The Board of Supervisors voted unanimously to designate the building a historic landmark. The hope is it will keep the history of a multi-generational Latino family in this neighborhood and encourage more to do the same. We're not going anywhere. We're trying really hard to make sure that other people can stay and flourish in this amazing neighborhood that's so colorful and so vibrant and so creative. City leaders say they're doing the work to try and stop gentrification, preserving historic sites, and buying land to offer more affordable housing. The mission is only going to remain the, the mission as we know it, the centerpiece of, of Latino history, culture, music, vibe if Latino people can still live in the neighborhood. Families who have been here for decades say they hope that sense of community they've always enjoyed can remain. They're already noticing a difference in the customers who come to their businesses. That's the makeup of this neighborhood. This is the character of this neighborhood. Other longtime residents agree it's essential to keeping the mission special. It's a real community. It's not just a bedroom community or a place where people live and then have to commute miles to work all the time. I have a lot of hope today that we're going to be able to preserve the neighborhood. The Board of Supervisors still needs to vote one more time and then get the mayor's signature, but we expect this building to be designated a historic landmark in about a month. Reporting in San Francisco, Sean Chitness, KPIX 5.